The Michigan Football Report is presented by Fetch Rewards. It's the app. You walk out of the store, you scan your receipt, boom, you've got points sitting there. Free app. You build up some of those points, folks, get to 10,000 points. You have yourself uh, enough to get a free $10 gift card and more from great stores like Amazon, Starbucks, Target, etc. Fetch, uh, chatsports.com slash fetch, free. Use promo code Michigan, 3,000 bonus points if you use that promo code Michigan. Go download it right now. All right, let's jump into today's show. We're going to talk about a lot of things around Jim Harbaugh, but this first uh, you know, portion of it is going to talk about what we know from the last couple of days. Before we do, though... Uh, Go follow me on Twitter. If you haven't yet, uh, here's an opportunity to follow me and then also get a follow back. So throughout this show, I'll check back in about five or 10 minutes and then later on the show, next 10 people to follow me, I will follow you back. Uh, hit 8,000 followers. It is pretty funny. Hit 8,000 and I think I made some funny jokes about Ohio State. I dropped like 20 followers in like two or three days and then over the last day and a half, I'm back. I've gained like 75 new people. I'm up to like eight. 8,000 and you know, 50 or something like that. So go follow me. I'll check here in a few minutes. Follow the next 10 people back. I was voted by my mom the number one person to follow for Michigan football news and rumors. So let's dive into today's story, folks. Uh, today's just latest on Jim Harbaugh. It's the latest news and rumors. Harbaugh, who he's taking with him, and the Michigan football coaching staff of the future. So Jim Harbaugh, is going to be named the Minnesota Vikings head coach. Chris Ballas uh, is the first to report it. No one's refuted it. Uh, what we say, Ian Rappaport, what did he say again? That uh, he, on the screen, not a done deal from Ian Rappaport. Probably the guy in sports who gets news wrong and stories wrong the most, yet still gets to keep his high-profile job at NFL Network. You recall 2004, he said Jim Harbaugh was about to interview with the, with the Raiders when he was already on the plane to Ann Arbor to accept the Michigan job. So I wouldn't take that. I, I trust Chris Ballas much over Ian Rappaport. But uh, 2004, 2014, sorry, I said. So uh, the word is that Jim Harbaugh did actually take a private flight last night out of uh, Detroit, or out of uh, uh, Ypsilanti, private airport there, landed in Minneapolis and was on campus with the Vikings this morning. As of, you know, six hours plus ago, 8 a.m. was the rumor. I haven't been able to independently verify that. That was just the chatter this morning from some folks around here in the office as well. Took a private flight and will accept the job here. But I want to know from you guys, folks, what is your one word reaction to Jim Harbaugh leaving Michigan? All right. I have no doubt this is going to happen. We're trying to get ahead of the story. I don't like to lie to you guys. There are some other media outlets that will say, oh, even if they know for a fact something's true, they will tell you the lie because they just, you know, they're too scared to announce news or too scared to talk about something that hasn't gone through official channels. That's not me. I want to tell you the truth as far as I know it. But how about Jim Harbaugh over the last couple days, folks? Uh, his interview prep. We're hearing that Harbaugh was in the building at Schembechler Hall on Monday, prepping for his Vikings interview, coming off Zooming with their front office on Saturday afternoon, that he knew he was going to go up there Wednesday, and he was prepping for it because there were some concerns apparently about uh, his offensive philosophy, whether the game's passed him by in the seven years he's been out of the NFL. Was not in office yesterday and uh, was preparing at his house with Jay Harbaugh, his son, and Matt Weiss, Michigan's analytics guru slash quarterbacks coach, and then they were preparing you know, for it at his house yesterday and going to maybe take those guys with him uh, up to Minneapolis. I haven't verified if that's true or not. If this is the case, if Jim Harbaugh was two days leading up to signing day on Michigan's campus using company facility, you know, using their computers, their whiteboards, their big screens, their anything with existing staff members that are getting paid by the school, that are getting paid as part of this program to be coaches, to coach the players, to recruit players – I think it's just disgraceful. I think Jim Harbaugh, uh, unless he had explicit permission and was very upfront and Ward Manuel knew was going down, I think it's disgraceful because think about any other company. If you had two, three, four year employees all ganging up, you know, seeing how they can go get a, a, a different job somewhere else. And not to mention non compete clause, things like that, that hey, you can steal employees with you. I think it's just disgraceful. And I was not a big fan of hearing that. Uh, but we'll see if it was actually true. I don't know if we'll ever really know, but I feel strongly enough that it makes some sense that with Harbaugh not being in there Tuesday, they went back to his house to uh, to get it going. So we will see what uh, what happens. We're going to toss up the Amazon question there. Right. So I want to ask you guys this question. All right. Uh, we're going to toss it up on the screen here. So reply to me in the comments with a Y or an. Yes, if yes. 
Uh, and if no, do you shop on Amazon? Do you use the Amazon website, the Amazon app? Hell, do you have Amazon Prime so you get free shipping? Well, I gotta take a little quick poll. It'll help uh, me deliver my next message to you. So light up the comments. I got some whys coming in on the YouTube live chat. If you watch this later on in the day on demand, uh, a reminder that we did have our live show here. So I'm talking about those people, but let me know on demand as well. That most, mostly 100% yeses. Uh, I haven't seen a single no yet from the live chat. The reason I want to ask you guys this question, because you guys will find value in today's sponsor, it is the Fetch Reward app. Little demo video coming on over the top. It basically allows you to download the app. It's a free app. You scan your receipts. But the cool thing about Amazon is you can connect your Amazon account to it so you get bonus points no matter what. The second you uh, make a purchase on Amazon, boom, you've got points in your Fetch Reward app. You go to chatsports.com slash fetch. It'll drop you in the store for Android or iPhone, whichever one you have. So type that in your browser. When you sign up, use promo code MICHIGAN and you'll get 3,000 bonus points. You only need to get to 10,000 points, folks, and you get a free $10 gift card from Amazon, from Starbucks, from your favorite restaurant, Airbnb, Marriott. There's just hundreds of gift cards you can get. Uh, I've been using it for two and a half weeks or so. I am at like 9,000 points from just my Amazon account and scanning receipts when my wife or I go to the grocery store or something like that. So if you use Amazon, get Fetch Rewards. It is free and it all to automatically you start taking your Amazon purchases and turning them into points. You get 10,000 points, boom, free $10 gift card to pretty much wherever you want use promo code mission go do it right now i might give you guys an opportunity later today on twitter or tomorrow to win a ten dollar gift card from me to see whoever uh whoever is the fastest in uh proving that they've already downloaded fetch chatsports.com slash fetch use that link promo code mission and get you three thousand bonus points bill o'brien in the streets they call him bob former penn state head coach former um houston texans head coach current alabama offensive coordinator and leading candidate to be the new offensive coordinator at the New England Patriots, where he was back uh, in 2011 and prior before he became the Penn State head coach. A lot of chatter out there that he has had some contact with Michigan. One message board genius even said, hey, my friend is a graduate assistant on the Alabama staff. O'Brien already offered him a job to come with him to Michigan. Now, I'm not putting any credibility in that necessarily, but there is enough chatter out there and some people with, uh, with strong, I guess, sources, not just the Michigan side, that are leaning towards Bill O'Brien potentially emerging as Michigan's top candidate, right? And so I think he gets a little bit of a reputation, a bad reputation sometimes in people because he got fired from the NFL. But if you look deeper down, he took over a Houston Texans team in 2014, was their coach for six full seasons. Then things kind of fell apart. He started 0-4 uh, a couple years ago, and he got fired after four games. But he made the playoffs in four of his six full seasons, had a winning record in five of his six full seasons with the Houston Texans. And he didn't have Deshaun Watson the entire time, right? There was a lot of scrub quarterbacks in there that that team had. Um... And he had some success at Penn State. Think about Penn State when he took that job. He was only there for two years. What we say his record was there, 15-9 uh, at Penn State in two years. That was a uh, program that had reputationally was bankrupt at that point, coming off the Joe Pa, Jerry Sandusky scandal. And players were flocking out of there. They couldn't have the scholarship reductions, the likes of which we've really never seen in, in modern college football. And he made them... A formidable program, a winning record, 15 and 9 in two years. Imagine what he could do with J.J. McCarthy, right? Took Alabama to the national title game this year. His quarterback won the Heisman this year, folks. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm warming up here. I'm warming up. You know, it's uh, it's cold outside, but your boy, you're I'm warming up to Bill O'Brien as Michigan's next head coach. Now, he's got to do something about that bald hair because he has the 80s, 90s dad look. We still got the kind of bald top and, and the sides. You either got to go all bald or you got to get some uh, surgery there, Bill, because I think uh, I'll just start. You know, we can't do O'Brien heads with your shiny bald head with your old guy substitute teacher thing around the side. But nevertheless, I'm open to him as a coach. Uh, went to the Nick Saban school and excelled there at a Heisman Trophy winner. And I think it's one to, to keep an eye out. He wouldn't be my top candidate, but I think I can get behind Bill O'Brien being the next Michigan football head coach uh, once Jim Harbaugh officially accepts the Vikings head coaching job. So if you guys haven't yet, we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by the 15th. I was told by uh, uh, the big wigs, the fat cats, the bean counters, the chat sports that if we don't get there, they just said, or else. So I'm not sure what that means. Um, now's the right time. We're going to have more content, uh, more breaking news content in the next, you know, seven, 10 days, as long as the coaching search goes on than we've ever had on this channel. This is kind of year four, uh, 2018, 20, or 2019, 2021 20, seasons.
had uh, content around Michigan football. Now into 2022, we have ourselves a coaching search. Subscribe or do me a favor, if you wouldn't mind. If you know a Michigan fan that has never heard of us, never watched the show, go ahead and send them the link, youtube.com slash Michigan TV. Let's get to 20,000. Uh, we've really grown, almost doubled our subscribers in the last 12 months. And uh, blown past all the other channels, have the biggest community for Michigan football fans on YouTube. Let's take a look at the three coaches that were either reportedly helping Jim Harbaugh pre you know, prepare for this uh, new new job he's going to have in his interview or are likely to leave with him. And it should be no, no uh, surprise to anybody, these three guys. Matt Weiss was an NFL guy, right? He was uh, with the Ravens for a long time, actually coached with Jim Harbaugh back in uh, Stanford, 2008, 2009, when he was a grad student at Stanford himself. So they have a, a long history, but uh, expected to go and either be the passing game coordinator or the offensive coordinator for the Vikings. Jay Harbaugh, I expect him to have the same role, probably special teams coordinator, or maybe a position coach with the Vikings as well. And then George Hilo, if you recall, he came over from a college job, but he's got some NFL background, and uh, he is one that has been named early for likely to head out the door with Jim Harbaugh. The other guys in the staff, Sharon Moore, Josh Gaddis, um, you know, certainly on the, on the defensive side, you've got Steve Klinkscale and Ron Bellamy and some others. Those, uh, those, those coaches aren't necessarily ones that Mike Hart, from the running back perspective, that have the NFL background or would see instantly the NFL being part of their future. So I don't think Michigan's going to have a wholesale staff uh, raid by Jim Harbaugh. He may only take three guys. But nevertheless, with Mike McDonald leaving, with Sean Newell leaving, I mean, Michigan has uh, is going to basically flip over 60, at least 60% of the coaching staff from this past year, no matter who the new head coaching uh, head coach of this program is. But I'll ask you guys this question one more time. Uh, if you saw it in the buildup, asking you guys again, who will be Michigan's head coach in the 2022 season? Going into the fact, don't say Jim Harbaugh, because unless something happens like, uh, I don't know, he sneezes into his hand and shakes the hand of the owner or something like that, and they're so disgusted they just you know kick him out of the building. Unless something crazy happens like that, he's going to get this Vikings job, and he is in process of probably he's accepted it as we speak. So I want to know from you guys, let me give a few shout-outs here uh, to producer Brett and who you guys think uh, will, not shout-outs, just recognitions of what people are saying as the chat is going a little crazy. It's uh, Bill O'Brien, and I'm trying to catch up to the chat now. Has had it minimized, so maybe I won't look at what those. Did have a super chat come in, though. I see Matt Campbell. I see Urban Meyer. I see uh, some other ones, Rule or Gaddis. So keep those flowing. Let me know who you guys think as we have 420 people watching here. Chatsports or YouTube.com slash Michigan TV. If you saw my Twitter post last night, my Twitter video from late night, it was kind of almost 11 o'clock central, so coming up at midnight. I said two things, and I hope Jim Harbaugh sees it. So if you, uh, if you have that video or you can send him this one, I'll, I'll say the same thing. I do want to thank Jim Harbaugh uh, for this past season beating Ohio State and really taking a chance on Michigan. As crazy as that sounds, taking a chance on Michigan because – he had the opportunity to have any job he wanted you know, in a lot of ways. He could have had a bunch of other college jobs. He could have had a bunch of different NFL jobs after the 2014 season as things deteriorated with the 49ers. But he came back at Michigan's lowest point. Seven years of mediocre football and a couple downright awful years uh, at the end towards Brady Hoke, including 5-7 and seven in 2014. But he came back. And it was instant success. Whether you say, oh, it wasn't. They didn't win a national title. Well, he was a, a block punt on the last play of the game away from going to the Ohio State game 10-1, and one, right? He was maybe a, a, a week of practice away from beating a, a good Utah team in the, in the opener, and they lost by a touchdown from going to the Ohio State game 11-0 that year. So they turned it around uh, right there. He was number two in the country in the polls by week seven of his second year at Michigan. So it was an instant turnaround, the likes of which I don't know if we've ever seen in college football, of a team being that down and going to that high in that short of a period of time, 19 games from his first game to being ranked number two in the country. So thank you to Jim Harbaugh. But I want to give some advice. Send this to him if you know him. Don't be Brian Kelly. Don't be Lincoln Riley. Don't be one of these coaches that all the fan bases just think he's a scumbag because he sent his players a text. Hey, guys, head to the Vikings. I wish you my best. And he never comes back. If you're going to accept the job today, fly back to Ann Arbor. Spend 10, 15 hours in the office tomorrow to say, I want to see every single one of you guys. Just get in the line. Do whatever you want to do. Come in. I'm going to talk to you. You can always call me. Have a good going out with your players. And hold a press conference, right? A lot of these people, Sam Webster and Ballas reported this, and all these beat writers, they spent a lot of time covering you on, on location. They probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't uh, hurt to say goodbye to them, let them shake your hand one last time. So uh, go off and just say, look, I want to go back to the NFL. I, I beat Ohio State. I, I didn't get every win that uh, maybe people wanted, but I, uh, I appreciate Michigan. I love Michigan. I want to try something else, and I'm going to be supportive of the program going forward. I hope you guys support me. I hope that's what Jim Harbaugh does, folks. But – 
he may not do it, right? We may not hear from Jim Harbaugh. He might become persona non grata for a few years, like a lot of these coaches will when they leave for another job and just kind of, you know, move out in the middle of the night and no one ever hears from him again. So let's hope he doesn't. And uh, we'll see, though, what Jim Harbaugh does.